wellbeing and relationships is at the heart of what we do here at Iona. Being a new school, um, we are in a unique position uh, to build from the ground up. So from the get-go, we really targeted teachers when they applied for the jobs to make sure that wellbeing was something that they thought was everybody's responsibility. Tap, tap to the left, tap, tap to the right. You can do it in whatever order you like. Ready? We believe strongly in student voice and agency um, and the more that education has evolved and the more theories around education have evolved, the more it points to the importance of student voice and agency. Are they actually feeling like they're, they're being challenged with their learning? Are they feeling comfortable in class? Are they actually feeling comfortable with their teachers? Are you getting enough sleep? Are you feeling like you're energised? Are you feeling like you're supported by your staff? Are they feeling safe? If they are not flourishing or doing well, obviously their learning will be affected. So we wanted to make sure the students had a voice, a very um, quick way to check in to make sure that we were targeting the right students who needed the support. All right, everyone, what we're going to do Every Tuesday morning, period one, the teachers ask you to open your laptops and then you go on to Pulse. The first question, um, we have an option to pick how we're feeling and then the rest of the questions are monitored um, anonymously. It takes about one minute to do it, not long, asks us maybe five questions and, and then it's basically done. We can sit there in real time and see the whole school actually tell us how they're feeling. Checking in with yourself is a really important skill to manage your own emotions, to use logic, to think clearly. Pulse effectively removes barriers which allows students to conduct their own like, self-assessed health status and then provides us with a, an entry point to a conversation with students but then also importantly to be able to identify trends and then communicate that with, with families as well. There's more talk about resilience, um, mental health in young people. Their online world is having a real impact on their mental health. They struggle to learn because all of a sudden they're in their heads about what did that person say to me last night or how do I get that person to like me again because they deleted me or blocked me on social media. So they're not actually seeing me in that classroom and being able to learn and take in their, their knowledge and grow. So by intervening early and giving them an option to ask for help and really um, sort of normalise help seeking behaviour, Hopefully that student doesn't hold on to that for a day or two days. They actually realise that there's mechanisms in place in the school where they can seek help and get support for whatever they're going through. It gives you faith in us building the school community together and I think that's a really important part of establishing this new school. Yes, it's a reactive wellbeing check-in tool but it's also so preventative. There's so much information and wealth of knowledge that you can use, not just in wellbeing, but learning and um, educational purposes and home life. I used it the other day for a boy in year 10, and then when I saw him on the, on the yard, he said, I got your pulse, thank you. So it was a really nice connection point between myself and that student. It's very important to know that um, the school cares about our wellbeing because we do come here every day and it's where we spend majority of our time. So it's, I think it's a good thing to feel safe here that people are there for you and, they're, um, and they care about you. I'm a big school. It's hard to get involved in what everyone is doing and be aware of how everyone is feeling. So Pulse has been able to give us that structure, has been able to make sure all our students are noticed and all our students are heard. That's really what it should be about, staff, students and parents working together to make sure our young people are as well as they can be. They will be cared for, they will be loved and they will be looked after. 